Today's NBA contracts, even to mediocre players, make the contracts given out during Michael Jordan's prime look like pocket change. Yet, MJ has made himself into the first ever athlete to make a billion dollars. How? Today we find out. I'm Mike Cantalupo and take notes because we're looking into the net worth of Michael Jordan. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button because we put out videos like this every single day. Becoming a billionaire took a lot more mental ability than it took physical ability for MJ. Throughout his 15 year career, Jordan made a total of $93 million from the Bulls and Wizards. That's an average of $6.2 million per year. To put that in some sort of crazy context, Al Horford of the Boston Celtics is making $26 million this season alone. Yes, Al Horford is set to make more money in four seasons than MJ made his entire career. And it's not like Jordan retired at a time before US inflation became ridiculous. He played his last professional game in 2003. While Jordan missed out on huge contracts, he made up for it with endorsements. The biggest and most influential contract is that, of course, with Nike. Nike's Jordan brand is the best-selling basketball shoe in the world, with 2.6 billion in sales just in the US alone. It's estimated that by 2020, Jordan will be bringing in $200 million a year just from the shoe and clothing brand. His contract with Nike is a lifelong deal, so add on the millions he makes per year from appearances and endorsements with them, plus brands like Hanes, and Jordan is getting paid more per year now than he made his entire NBA career. That doesn't mean that Jordan doesn't have anything to do with the NBA anymore. Instead of getting contracts, he's now the one paying contracts as the majority owner of the Charlotte Bobcats. The value of an NBA franchise has grown exponentially recently and Jordan's 80% stake, which he bought for a meager $275 million in 2010, is currently valued at around $600 million. So we know he's made over a billion dollars in his life, but how does he spend it? Well, as an appetizer, he has a private jet that's painted in Carolina blue and has the Jumpman logo on the tail. Oh, and an 154-foot little fishing boat named Mr. Terrible. He owns three homes that we know of, a $12.8 million beauty in Florida, a $2.5 million pad in Charlotte, and he's trying to sell his Chicago mansion for a list price of more than $28 million. That Chicago mansion has a full basketball court because, of course. And yeah, he has plenty of fancy cars. He's also donated millions to charity. And isn't that really what we should be caring about? Sure. But it's also rumored that he's planning on building his own private golf course because the pace of play at his own country club is too slow. And yes, of course, to go with it, he already has his own Jumpman crested golf cart. It's obvious that MJ is living the life. His current net worth of $1.24 billion allows him to do basically whatever he wants with his money. We look forward to some more good investments from the GOAT. What athletes net worth should we look into next? Join us in the comments below. If you like this video or learned a thing or two, hitting the like button helps us out a ton and we really, really appreciate it. If you're new to Total Pro Sports though, welcome. Hit the subscribe button because we put out videos like this every single day. Until next time, I'm Mike Canalupo and thanks for watching.